Jessica Aris spent most of her life with her older brother by her side. He always kind of shielded me and guarded me, and um, he was always kind of my protector. However, nothing could protect Jessica or her family from the pain when Jonathan Aris was brutally killed. It's been hard not seeing him. You know, I graduated from college and graduated from grad school, and I got married, and he wasn't there for any of that, which is probably the hardest part of all of this. It really is, is not being able to share those memories with him. Along this shuttered stretch of Willow Street in the Ferret neighborhood is where the devastation hit too close to home. Just standing in this spot uh, is, is, is painful. It was under this house where Eris's body was discovered nearly nine years ago, badly decomposed and shot twice in the head. We hadn't heard from him for a couple of days, so we were obviously worried. I mean, he lived on his own by that point, uh, but he was in touch with his mom every day. Detectives believe the body was there for nearly a week. There were even reports of gunshots in the area around that time. I guess when uh, investigated officers came out, they didn't discover anything. Um, I'm assuming it was the smell of the aroma that actually drove them back to the area in which they finally discovered him. Even though it's been years, Detective Richard Chambers says his office is still making progress on this case. We have suspects in mind um, at this point. Um, we're still investigating the matter a little bit further. We want to make sure that we have concrete evidence against mm -hmm. the individuals that may be involved. Chambers is still looking for witnesses to help solve this case, a move that Eris's family says would go a long way in helping them emotionally and help them close this troubled chapter in their lives. It would mean so much to us to just ease the burden of what we've been carrying for almost a decade now. Randy Russo, WDSU News.